So let's check back in with first alert meteorologist Darren Peck. So Darren, this wasn't an atmospheric river or a cyclone bomb. It was just a lot of rain. And a very strong area of low pressure, Ryan, which is bringing a lot of energy and a strong cold front, which means we've got some important like dynamics to this storm from an intensity of the rainfall standpoint and from the wind. We looked at the wind at the top of the newscast. We're pretty much seeing the worst of the wind now, and it's panning out exactly to forecast, we're seeing gusts from the 45 to 50 mile an hour range. We've got reports of downed trees out there. Uh, the city of San Francisco is saying stay out of the parks for the next few hours because there's too much of a liability from downed trees. I think anybody in the Bay Area should probably heed that advice at this point. But if we look at the rain aspect of this, over the last two hours, we're seeing some fairly impressive signatures show up in the radar. And I just want to spot one of those and point it out. Watch the last three hours. Keep your eye right here. Doesn't look like much, but you can see it. It's almost like a little explosion of a line of red that comes right across Marin. Kind of like, you know, like you're unzipping the radar and the big red splot shows up there. That would be one of the more concerning lines of rain. That's a narrow cold front rain band. Thankfully, it's not too widespread, but moving across the Marin headlands, that would have provided some very brief downpours. Now, it's possible we could see that show up again along this line. Look where we are here. We're right in the middle of the cold front, right through the major population centers. It's coming right over the city, peninsula, East Bay. That is a live satellite of what this storm looks like right now. And while the center of the low is impressive, what we're feeling right now is that leading edge. And you can see how the cold front's just sweeping right across us. Another way to look at it is to watch the wind field. Of course, that looks concerning. There's the center of the storm. But thankfully, that eye, you can watch it, is going to stay off the coast. That's as close as it's going to come to the bay. That's going to get us into, like, tomorrow afternoon. We're going to have some issues from thunderstorms in that scenario, possibly. But we're not going to have a repeat of the last Tuesday storm, where the center of a tightly wound storm developed right over us and came on shore. This is different, thankfully. That's an important distinction because it looks so similar, but it's not going to play out the same way. If we watch the rain today, the cold front is going to pass the South Bay by the time we get to this evening. And then we enter the second phase, which is isolated on again, scattered showers and occasional thunderstorms. Watch the center of the storm spin its way down the coast. And we're just going to broad brush the notion that throughout all of Wednesday afternoon, as that area of low pressure passes by, there's a possibility for scattered thunderstorms. And the Storm Prediction Center still has much of Northern California shaded into its lightest green, which is its lowest level of concern. But nonetheless, it's very rare we're ever included in this at all. That's for the chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. So you could get some brief downpours, some small hail, maybe some water spouts out over the Pacific. It'll be that kind of day tomorrow. That's why tomorrow is another first alert day. And when you look at the rainfall totals, we still have enough to go. Uh, flooding is still going to be a concern, whether it's the urban stuff like low-lying intersections or the streams and creeks. We're still going to be in this through tonight, really, from that standpoint. And then you could have some localized flooding from any downpours that develop tomorrow in the thunderstorms. Two more feet of snow at the passes and four feet of snow up at the peaks for the higher elevations in the resorts. And if we look at the seven-day forecast, just to kind of get us through how this plays out, we know we've got one more first alert day after today. Then we're going to get a break. Yes, there's a chance of showers on Saturday. It does not look like a big deal. It's there as a technicality. We might get some light rain. We are going to get a much-needed break after tomorrow. Oh, we will need Much it to needed. dry out. Yeah. We're going to use it. We yeah. keep saying that, like, oh, we just need that break. But then every week another storm comes, another mm -hmm. storm comes. We never get quite that full seven days to recover. And that we probably shouldn't plan for that just yet. Because yeah. looking at the long-range models, even mm -hmm. going out towards the end of next week, it looks like we could still have some more wow. to track. It's too early for that. It just that. won't pattern, stop. Yeah, yeah, the pattern continues. All right.